just like the cloud, big data is a baffling tech term to most people. Although it could be the next big thing, a buzzword of sorts, not many can give a definitive answer to what it is. If you happen to mention big data, you could be well subjected to questions such as, is it a tool, a product, and is big data only for big businesses? And many more in the same vein. But what is big data? It's just the huge amounts of data, both structured and unstructured, a business has to deal with on a daily basis. Now that being said, why is it important to a business, or for that matter, you? To use this phenomenal amount of data to its advantage, a business must fully grasp the possibilities of analyzing big data and thereby making informed decisions to stay ahead of the curve. There has to be a reason why many analysts are calling big data a new competitive advantage, right? Let's look at Gartner's 3V's model to define big data. According to the American IT research and advisory firm Gartner Incorporated, Big data is high-volume, high-velocity, and or high-variety information assets that demand cost-effective, innovative forms of information processing that enable enhanced insight, decision-making, and process automation. Today, the size, volume, complexity, variety, and the rate of growth, velocity of the data that organizations handle have reached such unbelievable levels that traditional processing and analytical tools fail quite miserably. Are you still wondering if you can come up with a rigorous definition of big data? Yes? Then know that you are not alone. Though people may be divided on how best to define big data, few are likely to dispute that these large pools of data are integral to improved future projects. But what is certain is that understanding and utilizing big data is a seriously daunting task. The sheer volume of data that's captured and analyzed will pave the way for a better economic environment only if it's effectively used to discern patterns that enable better decision making. Big data is not just a buzzword or a fad. It's something that will undoubtedly touch businesses and people's lives the world over. For people who think that this is just another term that only the tech industry seems to care about, here are a few facts about big data that will likely convince them that big data is a revolution in the making. Read on, skeptics. The data volumes are exploding. More data has been created in the past two years than in the entire previous history of the human race. If you burned all the data created in just one day onto DVDs, you could stack them on top of each other and reach the moon twice. Every minute we send 204 million emails, generate 18 million Facebook likes, and send 278,000 tweets. Google alone processes, on average, over 40,000 search queries per second, making it over 3.5 billion in a day. Around 100 hours of video are uploaded on YouTube every minute, and it would take you around 15 years to watch every video uploaded by users in just one day. Today's data centers occupy an area of land equal in size to almost 6,000 football fields. By better integrating big data analytics into healthcare, the industry could save $300 billion a year. That's equal to reducing the healthcare costs of every man, woman, and child by $1,000 a year. The image here gives a very real picture of the evolution of big data. Here, the data size and complexity have been mapped against computing timeline. In the early 1970s, in fact even before that, the focus was on generation and storage of data. Mainframes were used for basic data storage. During the 1980s and 90s, the focus was on data utilization for which relational databases and other data-intensive applications were brought into the picture. In the 2000s, the spotlight was on data-driven technology, for which structured data, unstructured data, and multimedia were used. Throughout this evolution phase, we saw an exponential growth in data volume. Consider the following case study. In 2011, Netflix made one of the biggest decisions it'll ever possibly make. It wasn't anything material, but rather it was about content. The U.S. headquartered company outbid major cable networks like AMC and HBO to win the rights for a U.S. version of House of Cards, 
getting them two seasons with 13 episodes each. With a cost of four to six million dollars per episode, this two-season price tag was over 100 million dollars. Netflix had never before taken such a big gamble on the content side. So why did Netflix make such a big bet? And how did big data analytics factor into the decision? Let's find out. Now, before making the million dollar investment, Netflix knew a lot of users watched the David Fincher directed movie, The Social Network, from beginning to end. The British version of House of Cards had been well watched. Those who watched the British version, House of Cards, also watched Kevin Spacey films and or films directed by David Fincher. With the help of big data analytics, Netflix drew conclusions from these three synergistic factors before greenlighting the popular show. Combining these factors, obviously the popularity of political thrillers, makes it seem like an easy decision for Netflix to make. Licensing movies from studios is expensive, so Netflix uses data which is generated from its 69.17 million worldwide streaming customers to help pick the movies from the limited ones to license that the viewers will most enjoy. Do you have data and use it to help you make decisions? If not, Netflix provides a good case for why you should. So what are the predictions for big data in the near future? Market size. According to the International Data Corporation, IDC, the big data and analytics market will reach $125 billion worldwide in 2015 with growth at six times faster than IT. Skill gap. According to the McKinsey Global Institute, by 2018, the United States alone could face a shortage of 140,000 to 190,000 people with big data developer skills, as well as 1.5 million managers and analysts with the know-how to use the analysis of big data to make effective decisions. Buying and selling data will soon become the new bread and butter for business across the globe. Big data and Hadoop certification training from Simply Learn is designed to ensure that you are job ready to take up an assignment in big data. This training not only equips you with essential Hadoop skills, but also gives you the required work experience in big data analytics via implementation of real life industry projects that span three months. After completing this course, you'll be able to master the concepts of the Hadoop framework and its deployment in a cluster environment, learn to write complex MapReduce programs, Perform data analytics using PIG and Hive. Acquire in-depth understanding of the Hadoop ecosystem, including Flume and Apache Uzi workflow scheduler. Master advanced concepts of Hadoop 2.7, including HBase, Zookeeper, and Scoop. Get hands-on experience in setting up different configurations of the Hadoop cluster. Work on real-life industry-based projects using Hadoop. The course flow is as follows. First, internalize the domains, which includes introduction to big data and Hadoop, concepts and architecture of big data tools, installation and configuration of Hadoop components, such as MapReduce, Yarn, HDFS, Pig, Hive, HBase, Zookeeper, Scoop, and Flume, and Hadoop administration, troubleshooting, and security. The next step is to master the components, which includes Hadoop 2.7, Yarn, MapReduce, HDFS, Pig, Hive, HBase, Zookeeper, Scoop, and Flume. Next, you'll learn to manage the following, structured, unstructured, and semi-structured data, Hadoop ecosystem and complex business problems, deployment of Hadoop cluster, and writing complex MapReduce programs. You'll then work on projects. The different projects in this course include optimizing data storage using HDFS in cloud environment, using MapReduce to sort and filter data, using PIG and Hive as replacement of Java, using HBase to process data in real time, using Flume and Scoop to process unstructured data, and so on. Once these steps are covered, you are all ready to take the last step, which is to get certified. This course will facilitate you to achieve Big Data Hadoop Development Certification with Hadoop 2.7 after successfully completing a full-scale industry project and an objective test of 45 questions.
Hey, want to become an expert in big data? Then subscribe to the Simply Learn channel and click here to watch more such videos. To nerd up and get certified in big data, click here.